Well, uh, what did you think of this game against Douglas Knight? Nice shutout win, got pitching, good hitting, good everything. Yeah, it was a great team win. Wally just talked about it. Uh, everything came together, pitching, defense, some quality ABs, produced runs, so that's what we need. Tell us about that home run. Um, got up 2-0, uh, thought fastball was coming, and uh, I guessed right. Did you, did you know it? Uh, actually, I didn't. I hit a, it was line drive, so I wasn't sure if it was going to get out. <clears throat> But I hit it hard enough, and so, uh, yeah, I did. I mean, how would you kind of grade yourself for, for this season um, at, at the plate? At the plate, uh, I'm pretty happy with myself. I think I could do a uh, little better. Um, but overall, it's it's been a pretty good year. You guys have played less games than a lot of teams here. I mean, uh, do you still feel that the best is yet to come with you guys? Uh, yeah, I think we're just starting to get going, really. I mean, we're only 20-some games in, and a lot of these guys are at – 40, 50 games already. So, uh, yeah, I'd say we're just getting getting uh, ready to go, and it's perfect timing, honestly, for uh, districts and state coming up. DeVries pitched a great game, didn't he? Yeah, he's a stud. He's kind of been our guy this year, and uh, he's, done out of, he's done out a couple times this year. So, that yeah, was great. What, what do you think you need to, guy, the team needs to improve on? Um, just keeping a solid attitude uh, throughout the game. Um, sometimes we get down and uh, ends up hurting us in the long run. But um, just just being a good team, being good teammates, uh, putting together good abs and uh, producing runs really. Oh, uh, you know, it was a good team win. You know, we all came out here, we played hard, hit the ball a little bit, and then you know, Derek DeBeef threw a threw a gem, so we able to come out with a 7-0 win. You know, when Hutchins hit that home run, it kind of sets, sets a nice tone for the game, doesn't it? Oh, yes, sir. It set the tone for sure. You know, coming here, the hometown, you know, we get the nightcap. So him going yard, you know, in the first inning really got us going. How would you kind of grade yourself this season at the plate? I think I'm doing pretty good at the plate. You know, I'm getting on base a lot, you know, just letting, getting runs scored and everything like that. Just trying to get on base and letting Nate hit me in. It's quite the commute from Worland to Riverton for practices and games, isn't it? Yeah, well, my grandparents live over in Riverton, so I've just been living with them for the for the summer and then being able to practice every day and play games has been really been really nice. There's a lot of teams in Legion Ball that have played a lot more games than you guys have. I mean, you got to believe that maybe the best is yet to come for you guys, just considering you haven't played so many games. Yeah, I agree. I think we're starting to peak at the right time, you know. Everything's starting to come together. We're learning how to play with each other. And, you know, some teams got 50 games in. We know we're on 20 or 30. So if we keep rolling, then we'll be all right. I was going to say, what do you think this team's potential is? I think the poten potential is to, you know, go and stay and then, you know, just keep carrying, see what happens, see what we can do, go on the run, you know, anything like that. There's going to be some good teams, but hopefully we can battle them out. I mean, you're going to Texas to play ball in the fall. I mean, but are you, ha are you having fun this summer so far? Yeah, I'm going to uh, Kansas, but yeah. I'm, Kansas, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yes, sir, but I'm having fun here. I'm just trying to get ready for my season over in Kansas. To, to score seven runs on only four hits, um, I'm, I would be remiss if I wasn't a little, little disappointed we didn't score more runs and take more opportunities, but we fought the whole game. Um, biggest thing was it was a complete team victory all the way through. Uh, pitching, defense, hitting. We got some timely hitting that put us over the edge and, and kind of put the game away. You have a college player in Jory Anderson. What do you think his potential is moving on to the next level? I think when Jory uh, is now moving on from playing all these sports to just being a baseball player, I think you're going to see a kid really blossom. I think he's going to shock a lot of people with how good he's going to be. And how did you end up in Riverton, Wyoming, coaching Legion Baseball? Uh, I first coached up here when I got released from Pro Ball uh, in, I think it was the summer of 93. It was my first full year out, and I, uh, my buddy was the head coach, so I came up and coached. I saw the job uh, was open. I was actually floating in a, my pool in Palm Springs and uh, saw the ad and decided to apply because I had such a great time in 93. I had so much fun, and um, that's probably the best, other than, uh, you know, being a dad to my daughter, it's the best decision I've ever made, uh, baseball-wise specifically. You haven't played as many games as a lot of Legion teams in the state. You still got to feel that maybe your your best ball is ahead of you. Absolutely, absolutely. We're starting to gel as a team. We're getting um, way more consistent. Um, the other thing is, you know, so this season that we came in, I was hired really late. I didn't I didn't get up to Riverton until April. Um, so the schedule next year is something that we're we're going to be well ahead of ourselves next year, and hopefully we'll be getting an indoor facility of some sort. Um, this year and our pitching will be ahead of the game. So I'm looking forward to the rest of this year. I think we're on, on I think we have a, a really good chance at winning state this year and we, we basically return everybody next year. So, uh, you know, like I tell everybody, watch out, Riverton's coming. <laughs>